Feline Immunodeficiency Virus Feline Immunodeficiency Virus FIB, is a lentivirus that affects cats worldwide, with 2.5% to 4.4% of being infected. 5 differs taxonomically from two other feline retroviruses, feline leukemia virus FALV, and feline fomivirus FFB, and is more closely related to human immunodeficiency virus HIV. Within 5, Five subtypes have been identified based on nucleotide sequence differences coding for the viral envelope, ENV, or polymerase, PAL. 5 is the only non-primate lentivirus to cause an AIDS-like syndrome, but 5 is not typically fatal for cats, as they can live relatively healthily as carriers and transmitters of the disease for many years. A vaccine is available, although its efficacy remains uncertain. Cats will test positive for 5 antibodies after vaccination. 5 was first isolated in 1986 by Neil Spedersen at the UC Davis School of Veterinary Medicine in a colony of cats that had a high prevalence of opportunistic infections and degenerative conditions and was originally called feline T. lymphotropic virus. Doubt it has since been identified in domestic cats. Effects 5 compromises the immune system of cats by infecting many cell types, including CD4 plus and CD8 plus T lymphocytes, B lymphocytes, and macrophages. 5 can be tolerated well by cats, but can eventually lead to debilitation of the immune system and its feline hosts by the infection and exhaustion of T helper, CD4 plus, cells. The rate of occurrence in cats is at less than 5%, in humans with HIV, this percentage is estimated to be over 50%. 5 and HIV are both lentiviruses. However, humans cannot be infected by 5, nor can cats be infected by HIV. 5 is transmitted primarily through deep bite wounds, where the virus present in the infected cat's saliva enters the body tissues of another cat. 5 plus cats can share water bowls, pellet bowls, eat from the same bowl of wet food, and use the same litter box with low danger of transmitting the disease. A vigilant pet owner who treats secondary infections can allow an infected cat to live a reasonably long life. Doubt the chance that an 5 infected cat will pass the virus to other cats within a household is low unless there is fighting between cats, or wounds present that could allow entry of the virus from infected to non-infected cat. Newborn kittens may test positive for up to six months and most thereafter will gradually test negative. It is thought that this is due to antibodies transferred to the kittens via the mother's milk. However these antibodies are transient so subsequent testing will be negative. Once they have received vaccinations against five, they will, in the future, always test positive as the various blood tests detect and show the antibodies that have developed in response to the vaccination. 5 is known in other feline species, and in fact is endemic in some large wild cats, such as African lions. In the United States Consensus in the United States on whether there is a need to euthanize 5 infected cats has not been established. The American Association of Feline Practitioners, an organization in the United States, as well as many feral cat organizations, recommends against euthanizing five positive cats, or even spending funds to test for the virus, as spaying or neutering cats seems to effectively control transmission, spayed slash neutered cats are less likely to engage in territorial fights. Pathology The virus gains entry to the host cells through the interaction of the envelope glycoproteins, from the glycoprotein end, of the virus and the target cell surface receptors. First, the SU glycoprotein binds to CD134, a receptor on the host cell. This initial binding changes the shape of the SU protein to one that facilitates interaction between SU and the chemokin receptor CXCR4. This interaction causes the viral and cellular membranes to fuse, allowing the transfer of the viral RNA into the cytoplasm, where it is reverse transcribed and integrated into the cellular genome through non-homologous recombination. Once integrated into the host cell's genome, the virus can lay dormant in the asymptomatic stage for extended periods of time without being detected by the immune system or can cause lysis of the cell. CD134 is predominantly found on activated T cells and binds to OX40 ligand, causing T cell stimulation, proliferation, activation, and apoptosis. 3. This leads to a significant drop in cells which have critical roles in the immune system. Low levels of CD4 plus and other affected immune system cells cause the cat to be susceptible to opportunistic diseases once the disease progresses to feline-acquired immune deficiency syndrome, fades. Transmission 
The primary mode of transmission is via deep bite wounds, in which the infected cat's saliva enters the other cat's tissues. Five may also be transmitted from pregnant females to their offspring in utero, however, this vertical transmission is considered to be relatively rare, based on the small number of five infected kittens and adolescents. This differs from Fay LV, which may be spread by more casual, non-aggressive contact, such as mutual grooming and sharing of food bowls. Risk factors for infection include male sex, adulthood, and outdoor access. One case study conducted in Sao Paulo found that 75% of five infected cats were males. Higher rates of infection in males than females occurs due to biting being more frequently engaged in by males defending their territory. Disease stages. Five progresses through similar stages to HIV in humans. The initial stage, or acute phase, is accompanied by mild symptoms such as lethargy, anorexia, fever, and lymphadenopathy. This initial stage is fairly short and is followed by the asymptomatic stage. Here the cat demonstrates no noticeable symptoms for a variable length of time. Some cats stay in this latent stage for only a few months, but for some it can last for years. Factors that influence the length of the asymptomatic stage include the pathogenicity of the infecting virus and five subtype, AE, the age of the cat, and exposure to other pathogens. Finally, the cat progresses into the final stage, known as the feline acquired immune deficiency syndrome, fades, stage, wherein the cat is extremely susceptible to secondary diseases that inevitably are the cause of death. Testing. Veterinarians will check a cat's history, look for clinical signs, and possibly administer a blood test for five antibodies. Five affects two to three percent of cats in the U.S. and testing is readily available. This testing identifies those cats that carry the five antibody but does not detect the actual virus. False positives occur when the cat carries the antibody, which is harmless, but does not carry the actual virus. The most frequent occurrence of this is when kittens are tested after ingesting the antibodies from mother's milk, and when testing cats that have been previously vaccinated for five. For this reason, Neither kittens under 8 weeks nor cats that have been previously vaccinated are tested. Kittens and young cats that test positive for the 5 antibody may test negative at a later time due to sero-reversion, provided they have never been infected with 5 and have never been immunized with the 5 vaccine. Cats that have been vaccinated will test positive for the 5 antibody for the rest of their lives owing to sero-conversion, even though they are not infected. Therefore, testing of strays or adopted cats is inconclusive since it is impossible to know whether or not they have been vaccinated in the past. Stop for these reasons, a positive 5 antibody test by itself should never be used as a criterion for euthanasia. Tests can be performed in a vet's office with results in minutes, allowing for quick consultation. Early detection helps maintain the cat's health and prevents spreading infection to other cats. With proper care, infected cats can live long and healthy lives. Treatment Options In 2006, the United States Department of Agriculture issued a conditional license for a new treatment he termed lymphocyte T-cell immunomodulator LTCI. Lymphocyte T-cell immunomodulator is manufactured and distributed exclusively by T-Site Therapeutics Inc. Lymphocyte T-cell immunomodulator is intended as an aid in the treatment of cats infected with feline leukemia virus FALV, and or feline immunodeficiency virus FIV, and the associated symptoms of lymphocytopenia opportunistic infection, anemia, granulocytopenia, or thrombocytopenia. The absence of any observed adverse events in several animal species suggests that the product has a very low toxicity profile. Lymphocyte T-cell immunomodulator is a potent regulator of CD4 lymphocyte production and function. It has been shown to increase lymphocyte numbers and interleukin-2 production in animals. It is a single-chain polypeptide in a strongly cationic glycoprotein, and is purified with cation exchange resin. Purification of protein from bovine-derived stromal cell supernatants produces a substantially homogeneous factor, free of extraneous materials. The bovine protein is homologous with other mammalian species and is a homogeneous 50K to glycoprotein with an isoelectric point of 6.5. The protein is prepared in a lyophilized 1 microgram dose. Reconstitution in sterile diluent produces a solution for subcutaneous injection. Vaccine. As with HIV, the development of an effective vaccine against 5 is difficult because of the high number and variations of the virus strains. Single-strain vaccines, 
i.e., vaccines that only protect against a single virus variant, have already demonstrated a good efficacy against homologous five strains. Doubt a dual subtype vaccine for five released in 2002 called Velovax made it possible to immunize cats against more five strains. It was developed using inactivated isolates of two of the five five subtypes, Orclides, Apetaluma and Dishis Woka. The vaccine was shown to be moderately protective, 82% of cats were protected, against subtype A5, but a later study showed it to offer no protection against subtype A. It has shown 100% effectiveness against two different subtype B5 strains. Vaccination will cause cats to have positive results on five tests, making diagnosis more difficult. For these reasons the vaccine is considered non-core, and the decision to vaccinate should be made after discussion with a veterinarian and consideration of the risks versus the effectiveness. Structure 5 displays a similar structure to the primate and ungulate lentiviruses. The virion has a diameter from 80 to 100 nanometers and is pleomorphic. The viral envelope also has surface projections that are small, 8 nanometers, and evenly cover the surface. The 5 virus genome is diploid. It consists of two identical single strands of RNA in each case about 9,400 nucleotides existing in plus strand orientation. It has the typical genomic structure of retroviruses, including the GAG, PAL, and ENF genes. The GAG polyprotein is cleaved into matrix, MA, capsid, CA, and nucleocapsid, NC, proteins. Cleavage between CA and NC releases a 9-amino acid peptide while cleavage at the C-terminus of NC releases a 2 keta fragment, P2. The PAL polyprotein is translated by ribosomal frame shifting, a feature shared with HIV. Cleavage of PAL by the viral protease releases the protease itself, PR, reverse transcriptase, RT, deoxyuridine triphosphatase, dutepase or DU, and integrase, IN. The end polyprotein consists of a leader peptide, L, surface, SU and transmembrane TM, glycoproteins. In common with other lentiviruses, the 5 genome encodes additional short open reading frames ORFs, encoding the VIF and reverent proteins. An additional short ORF termed ORFA, also known as ORF2, precedes the end gene. The function of ORFA in viral replication is unclear, however the ORFA encoded product may display many of the attributes of HIV-1 accessory gene products such as VPR, FURNF, the capsid protein derived from the polyprotein GAG is assembled into a viral core, the protein shell of a virus, and the matrix protein also derived from GAG forms a shell immediately inside of the lipid bilayer. The end polyprotein encodes the surface glycoprotein, SU, and transmembrane glycoprotein, TM. Both SU and TM glycoproteins are heavily glycosylated, a characteristic that scientists believe may mask the B-cell epitopes of the end glycoprotein giving the virus resistance to the virus neutralizing antibodies. Lentiviral Vector Like HIV-1, 5 has been engineered into a viral vector for gene therapy. Like other lentiviral vectors, 5 vectors integrate into the chromosome of the host cell, where it can generate long-term stable transgene expression. Furthermore, the vectors can be used on dividing and non-dividing cells. Dot 5 vectors could potentially be used to treat neurological disorders like Parkinson's disease, and have already been used for transferrenai, which may find use as gene therapy for cancer. Comparison with feline leukemia virus. 5 and feline leukemia virus, FALV, are sometimes mistaken for one another though the viruses differ in many ways. Although they are both in the same retroviral subfamily, orthoretrovirinae. They are classified in different genera, FALV is a gamma retrovirus and 5 is a lentivirus like HIV-1. Their shapes are quite different, FALV is more circular while 5 is elongated. The two viruses are also quite different genetically, and their protein coats differ in size and composition. Although many of the diseases caused by FALV and 5 are similar, the specific ways in which they are caused also differs. Also, while the feline leukemia virus may cause symptomatic illness in an infected cat, and 5 infected cat can remain completely asymptomatic its entire lifetime, and remain completely asymptomatic its entire lifetime, and remain completely asymptomatic.